okay, so this is probably the world's weirdest angle, but we're gonna do what we can with what we have while we have it. Um, so today what I'm doing is I'm going, I do this every day, but um, to go into a little bit more detail, a little bit more on hands of what happens at a advertising agency, specifically digital, um, and what we do for our clients. So every day, uh, Sometime before like the the morning, right? So like before uh, 11, uh, it's one of the first things you wanna do uh, because we call this a Google Ads check. We simply go in, we go through all the accounts, bird eye, like high overview, just look, make sure they're running, make sure they're not overspending, make sure there's no like uh, notifications, like some kind of weird flag, right? Like usually typically for that, it'll be like a um, credit card didn't work, um, or you, you have some kind of violation doesn't really happen, but th that's why you check. Um, and, and funny enough, they, Google doesn't have like the best, uh, notification system. Like you do get emails, you do get the little bell notification. If you have it on your phone, you get some alerts, but they're all different. Like you get, I get different alerts on my iPad than I get on my emails. Then when I get one to look in the accounts and then in the account, it has like suggestions. So the best thing to do is to go in there and just look, um, double check and see what we're doing. So for this specific situation, what we're going to do again, I'm just going to go high level overview and just, uh, see what we find. Um, starting with the ones that spend the most, just because there is more activity, more, there's more room for, uh, misuse of dollars. So we want to make sure if somebody's spending, you know, making numbers of $5,000 that every single dollar spent appropriately, um, their daily spend is, is more. So, right. So like, this is a weird way to put it, but like if, and we check them all, but if we check someone that's spending $20 a day, um, if they miss a day, right, that we don't check, that's $20 spent around that $20 spent. That could be good. That could be bad if we didn't check versus an account that spends $200 a day. Uh, the damage is bigger, but it's all relative. Like it, it's relative to the customer. So like, uh, again, somebody's $10 meal is somebody's $100 meal. That makes sense. It's relative to like each customer situation. So just again, what we do is we log, we log in, we look at the main dashboard. So the main dashboard will tell us like, um, you know, how much was spent, uh, what are the keywords that are being pulled? What are the, what are the different ad group spends? Um, and typically it's June 1st right now. So typically what we'll do is we'll look at the week, right? So we're pretty much on a daily, daily basis. Like we want to know what is happening exactly this week. And if you check it every single day, you'll know because you have like a, a, a pulse on what's happening. So it's June 1st. So it's a little bit weird because it's a new month. So what I'm going to do real quick is just, uh, go to the month, May, and just make sure, again, I checked these all last week, so I know it's gonna be fine. Just do a quick glance, like nothing is crazy. Nothing is bad, nothing is off, nothing is what have you. Uh, so now I'm going back to June 1st, and it's 10.05, so there's not gonna be a lot of activity. But that being said, $109 have already been spent. Um, you know, the average cost per click is $1.82. So we do know, like, we're getting, good spend, which is actually really good because that means uh, 60 clicks, 60 people have gone to this specific account to this for the specific keywords that we're looking for. And that's great. We, like I said, we spent $109 already. And that means that people are looking for this service. They're looking to solve their problem. It's beautiful, right? To start a, a, a month off. And um, like I said, we check the high level <laughs> account. Then what we do is we kind of go into the high level ad group account. So if you're unaware, it works like this. If there's an account, right? Then there's campaigns and then there's ad groups and then there's ads. So the account is, uh, the whole thing, the whole, there's no, no level higher. You can go. The account is the highest level you can go. Then it's the campaigns. So in this specific situation, we have, uh, three active campaigns. And then each campaign has a certain amount of ad groups, um, just depending on like what you're trying to achieve within each campaign and each ad group, it just breaks it down further and further and further more. So 
uh, checking the campaigns. They look fine. We're getting activity. We're getting conversions. Uh, good click-through rate. Average cost is where we want it to be. Um, and then the last thing I do as a real quick check is the search terms report. Report. Search term reports just means like, okay, what what are the actual keywords that people are looking up to get the ad clicks? Um, uh, and if it makes sense, if it looks good, perfect. Again, check these just about every single day. If there's any ones that like don't make sense, we'll put them as a negative keyword. But because we've been doing this for quite some time, um, you're not gonna see many that make it through that filtration system. Um, I will say though that, um, I mean, this is like what, what uh, maintenance uh, and monitoring of Google Ads is. It's like constantly checking, constantly making sure that it's moving in the right direction. Over time, they're gonna get more defined, defined and defined. So like there's not, you, you know what to expect as far as like what's gonna, come, what's gonna happen. Um, and then the, the like, there's a weird, uh, there's a weird um, thing about the search terms because sometimes, let's say you're a Honda dealership and you sell Honda Accords only, right? Let's just say that's the situation. Um, there are cases where people might be looking up Toyota dealership and you're not a Toyota dealership and you don't wanna show up for people looking for Toyotas, but at the same time, you, kind of wouldn't mind if a person looking for a Toyota sees your ad because it's very possible that they might want a Honda, right? They're, in the, they're looking for a car, you sell cars. They're along the same um, like price point, the same kind of like quality, they're good cars. You know, it's not like you're saying a Honda and um, a Porsche or Ferrari. Like that's, that's a different thing. That's a different, that doesn't make sense, right? Like you're not, this is a this is a burger and this is a hot dog. Like you, you can't do that. Um, you don't. You're not gonna make that unless you're hungry. But now we're getting too granular. Um, so that that's that's it. That check is what we do. Um, the account, the campaigns, and then the search term, and then if there's any notifications, any flags, anything like that. So I'm gonna go real quick into the account level. Check on all the accounts real quick just to see if anything comes up that I can kind of point out here. So there's a notification. The notification is probably something like, oh look, update payment methods in two accounts. Please fix your form of payment um, or use another one. So the there's, it depends when this came in, but there are some cards that um, either, <laughs> honestly, either declined or expired or the way people run their credit. So these are the client's credit cards. They're not our credit cards. Um, Typically, um, a lot of times why that happens is because companies have a certain amount or they use like a certain card um, with a certain amount in it or a certain limit on it. And by the end of the month, it like gets used. So they have to either pay off that balance or re-up their, their, the funds in that account. Um, especially when you're spending, you know, a good amount of money, you want to, I mean, that's smart. You want to keep one card that does one thing and if there's no money in it, guess what? You can't spend it. So I think that's real smart. Um, but again, it's a little bit more coordination um, on it. So I'm looking real quick. I see for June 1st, like I said, it's been you know a couple hours into the, the working day. Um, everything looks fine. There's conversions, there's activity. You're not gonna see a whole lot right now, um, but it looks fine. Um, there is a new account um, that came in. So that's something we'll do a deeper dive into, but it's honestly the same thing because it's already alive, it's already running. So um, yeah, that's the quick Google Ads check that we do on a day that if you've, if you've followed me and stuff, like you know this is what we do, like I've been doing this forever. <laughs> so uh, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Peace out.